What's up, LTD Addicts? If you want to build a website for a podcast or even an entire podcast network, you're going to want to watch this video. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dave Swift from that LTD.life where I review software tools with lifetime offers. If you're into AppSumo or lifetime deals in general, you're going to want to check out our Facebook group. We just hit a thousand members, so head on over there, join the discussion. We'd love to talk about LTDs with you. And today we are talking about second line themes over on AppSumo. Here is the deal page. You can see that it's going to be $49 to get in the door. Let's see what the plans and codes are available here. 49 bucks is one code that is five active domains. If you stack a second code, you will get unlimited active domains. Now, what this means is you will be able to install any of the second line themes. You can see there are five different themes here on any number of WordPress websites that you like. Now, in this video, we're going to be focusing on Tucson as well as the Bolden theme. Now, Tucson is for a single podcast show and Bolden themes is for an entire network. So if you're not familiar with what a podcast network is, it's essentially a collection of shows that all are kind of under the same umbrella, typically under you know a particular niche. So they could all be business related podcasts or comedy related podcasts might all be from the same producer of podcasts. But there are other themes you can check out here. We've got the Gumbo theme, the Dixie theme, and Satchmo theme. Now, these are all very similar. It's just mainly a styling thing. And that kind of leads me to my first point on second line. Usually in 2020, we don't really think of WordPress themes providing styling functionality. Typically, that is provided not through the theme. Uh, well, it'll do some styling, like global styling, say uh, main fonts, uh, you know, colors, things like that. But actual styling of pages is not often done through the theme. So it'll be interesting to see how this holds up to trying to build a similar theme on something that is maybe a little bit more versatile, maybe an Astra Elementor type of setup. So I'll be addressing those issues as we go through the themes here. All right, I've got a fresh WordPress installation right here. You can see the Tucson theme is installed. Let's go ahead and activate this. Now, the first thing it does is kicks me into their little setup wizard here. Let's go through that together. All right, it wants me to install a child theme and I have an option to skip it here, but I'll listen to what they say. Next, I need to enter my license key here so I can get remote support and updates. Now it wants me to install some plugins. Now there is an advanced drop down here. Let's see what this says. So it's asking me to install CMB2. I'm not familiar with that plugin. We've got Contact Form 7. That's a very common plugin. Easy Google Fonts. This is to add Google Fonts to your website. Elementor, MailChimp, uh, Podcast Importer. Now this is a cool plugin I'll be looking at a little bit later. Podcast Subscribe Buttons, Second Line Custom Add-ons. Uh, for Toussaint, and then Seriously Simple Podcasting and WP Forms Lite. Now I've turned off MailChimp because I'm not gonna be using that in this video, but everything else I will trust their opinion that it is necessary. We'll go ahead and hit install here. Now, while the plugins are installing, I just wanna point out that most of these are totally free. They're just bundled in to use the theme most efficiently. The only one that was a premium was the add-ons for Toussaint as well as their podcast buttons plugin. Now there is some demo content that we can import. I'll go ahead and do that even though I don't typically recommend using demo content. There is an advanced tab here so you can turn off particular sections of the content if you want, but let's go ahead and see what they provide for us. All right, so that's all done. It did take a few minutes to complete. Now there is a more uh, info drop down here. It says uh, documentation as well as a way to reach out to support and what appears to be a link to the customizer. I'll just go ahead and hit view website and see what we're beginning with here. All right, this does look exactly like the content that we see here in the second line themes thumbnail. So that's good. Sometimes you'll see like promises to make a beautiful site simply with one click. Well, this actually does bring you in there. Now, this page looks like it was built with Elementor. Let's go ahead and open that up. All right, so here we are editing the home page inside of Elementor. If you're familiar with Elementor already, you will know that this is just a typical page built with Elementor. There's nothing really, uh, you know, particular 
here that you wouldn't see on any other page. You can click on any of the headlines uh, and edit them. You'd be able to change the uh, links here, or the text and the buttons, change the colors of the buttons. That's just kind of the basic features for how Elementor works. It looks like it's actually pulling open a pop-up when I click on that. So we'll have to check that out to see how they've got it all set up here. Down below, I can see all of the episodes of the podcast. And if I click on it, I can see they're just using the standard post grid. Now, what's most important is if we go down here to post query, we can see that they're using a custom post type for each episode of the podcast. So that is being segmented from the standard blog post. I think that's important. So you can still have a blog as well as podcast episodes, and they're not kind of mishmashed together in the same post type. Now in this section right here, it says latest from Instagram. We've got some copy, there's a follow button. And then over here, there is a section where you'd expect to find some Instagram photos. However, it's blank and there is not an Instagram widget included. Uh, it doesn't come with Elementor by default and Second Line Themes hasn't included one either. Now, if you have essential add-ons for Elementor, which was a previous AppSumo deal, it's part of the uh, WP developers uh, suite, you'd be able to link right up into, into Instagram uh, through Elementor or they've got a really great widget. So I'd recommend checking that out. Uh, easiest way that I know of to add Instagram into Elementor. We have this show host section down here. Uh, some little tiles to talk about. Uh, I mean, it looks like they're selling something right here, like record, edit, publish. Here's a list of our shows. So even though this is not the podcast network website, this would be for an individual show. They're linking up to other shows. And this is just using the carousel. Then there is a link to subscribe to the mailing list. And then because I didn't install the MailChimp plugin, uh, the form is not showing up here. A little nice touch here. There are a couple variants of the homepage. If we go under home, you can see there's an episode slider as well as a show show grid. So currently we're looking at the episode slider here where we can scroll between different episodes uh, using the arrow keys right here. I think that's kind of cool how they've given us basically the same content with just a different hero section. Same thing goes for this show grid variant right here. It's going to show us all of the shows that might be on our network. Now this was not the theme that was dedicated to building a podcast network, but it still has a lot of that functionality built into it. So that's really interesting. We've got a nice little sorting uh, ability right here where I can click on the different topics and see shows that are related to that topic. That's really cool. If I open this up inside of Elementor, you'll see that it's using one of their widgets, the show grid widget. And then it's actually just going to link up to another custom post type called shows. So let's go down here. If we click over here on the Elementor widget, we can see that it's coming from their show grid element uh, and it's pulling in three columns of, uh, of shows here. So, uh, you know, it's just pulling in a custom post type from shows. Actually, let me show you that on the back end. So here is what the website looks like on the back end. We've got this custom post type called shows. Of course, if you're not familiar with WordPress, let me give you the lay of land really quickly here. So posts are typically where your blog posts would go. And then pages down here, this is where your static pages that aren't, you know, updated all the time. So like maybe a home page or an about page that would live in the pages section. And now there's been two extra features added into WordPress. We have podcasts. This is where individual episodes will load. In fact, this is really just the seriously simple podcast plugin. This is free. Anyone can put it on their WordPress website, uh, but it's integrating really nicely here with the custom post type that they've created for shows. So if I click on shows, I can see all of the different shows that are loaded in. This is certainly more shows than most people uh, are going to have, especially if you're building this site out for your business. But what's really nice is that will link into the seriously simple podcasting plugin where we can see all of our episodes here and they'll be assigned to a particular show over here where it says podcast series. That's going to be the shows that are in the custom post type. So you can see this says web design show. If I go back over to shows, here is our web design show. So if I wanted to add a new episode, I would just hit add new episode right here. I can give the episode a title up top. I could write in my show notes down here below. I could choose which show the episode belongs to. And then I would add in my podcast details in terms of the actual audio file right here. You can upload it right to your WordPress repository, although I do recommend using a CDN for this. Enter in the duration and file size and then go ahead and publish. Now, if you already have a podcast, maybe you even have a podcast website and you're thinking about, you know, sprucing it up and redesigning it. Well, if you're already using Seriously Simple Podcasting or the Blueberry PowerPress plugin or really any of the major WordPress plugins for podcasting, chances are it's going to be supported with second line themes. 
Let's take a look at their subscribe buttons. This is a premium podcast buttons plugin that the theme comes with. Now this is essentially just kind of like a pop-up widget. So if I edit this, we're gonna see uh, all of the different locations that I might want to link out to. Up top, we have some general settings in terms of the text that we wanna see and the colors we wanna use. And then down below, we have the different links for our podcast. So if you're linking out to Apple Podcasts, to Google Podcasts, uh, they've got RSS. In fact, let's just click this little disclosure triangle and we'll see all of them. And in fact, it goes off of the screen recording. It starts up here with Anchor and Apple Podcasts, Castro. Uh, we've got Blueberry and Plex. And in fact, just about everything you can think of if it doesn't have the service that you want to link to, of course, you can just create a custom link right here. If six links aren't enough, just add another link right here. If you don't have that many links you wanna link out to, you can remove them by clicking on the X. If you already have a podcast on a different service and you just want to build a website for it, you're gonna to wanna to use their podcast importer. Now this is a free plugin on the WordPress repository so you could try it out without even purchasing the theme. You can see it here in the plugin directory that I've already got it installed. It's gonna live right over here where it says tools. We'll go down to the podcast import second line. And this is really simple to use. All you're gonna do is choose the podcast feed. So this is gonna be uh, where people go to, to subscribe to your podcast. You'll enter in the post type that you want it to go to. So of course you probably want to choose podcasts, whether you want them to come in and automatically be published as episodes on your website, or you want to go ahead and manually approve them, you could do that right there. If you have a post author you want to choose as the default, you can do that. You can stick it into a post category. You choose the show under the parent show post. And this is important. You can do an ongoing import if you're constantly posting to another service. Let's say you're using Libsyn to post your podcast. Well, your website can now automatically grab the latest episode and add it on your WordPress website. That's super cool. Some other options here, you can add the featured image from each episode that gets imported if you check this box. You can also append the episode number. So instead of just bringing in the title of the episode, maybe it'll say episode one and then the title of the episode to kind of give people some order for where you are in your show. And then down below here, you can actually use the embedded audio player of the service you're using. So if you use Blueberry or Libsyn, they've got their own players and they're pretty good. A lot of people like using them. If you check this box, it will use those players depending on your podcast host, it says right here, uh, instead of using the default WordPress player. Now, if you've been looking at the podcast player on the demo content that I brought in, you think, hey, that looks like a pretty good podcast player. Well, don't worry, that is the default WordPress player. So there's nothing you need to do. You don't have to use one of the hosts that I mentioned. The other default pages that come with this are an About Us page. We also have uh, the blog, which is gonna be like an archive page as well as a single post template. And finally, we've got a contact page over here, which is gonna be using that free version of W. WP forms. All right, so you should be getting a pretty good idea of how this is gonna work. Instead of second line themes baking most of the design elements into one of their own page builders or right into the theme, they're using Elementor, which I really like. The few elements that we can't edit with Elementor are gonna be like the template pages. So if you're an Elementor Pro user, you'd be able to redesign those using the Elementor Pro functionalities to do uh, what they call theme building. So you'd wanna build an archive page or a single post page for your podcast. So, so far this is looking pretty good. They're adding some real usability things here, things that would be easy to accomplish with other software, but they're doing it for you and for a pretty reasonable price. I mean, we're only paying 49 bucks for five websites. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the Bolden theme. I'm gonna do the same thing here and we'll hit activate. Very familiar, we're just gonna go through the wizard here. All right, let me just skip through this. If anything new comes up, I'll inform you. All right, here we are. The Bolden theme is installed. Again, this is for podcast networks. It's actually very, very similar to the Tucson theme that we just looked at. You can see it even has the our shows here. So it's that one variant we looked at of the homepage. Uh, we go down, it's who we are, subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, so it doesn't have the Instagram section. Uh, we can go and see some of their variants here. The episode slider, you know, exactly the same thing, just has some different background images. Here's the about page. And here is contact, again, looking very, very similar in terms of content. Things are just laid out slightly differently, like the map was up above on Tucson and it's down below here on Bolden. The form has a little bit more of a professional look versus the more artistic look of Bolden. 
These again are just Elementor pages, so nothing that you couldn't change the look and feel of uh, in a reasonable amount of time, even if you're not a professional designer. The main thing that's different about the Bolden theme on the back end is the fact that they're using the PowerPress plugin instead of seriously simple podcasting. So PowerPress is from Blueberry, which is a podcast host. Now you don't have to use Blueberry to use PowerPress. It's just basically a player to, to play back your episodes. Now that does mean that you're not gonna get the podcast custom post type for each one of your episodes. So the episodes are actually showing up here under posts. Of course, this isn't too big of a deal because we can categorize our posts so you can have a blog and have all of your podcast episodes inside of the same post type without getting them kind of all mixed up. I prefer to keep them separate. That's just the type of guy that I am though. So adding a new episode inside of the Bolden theme, you just go under post, hit add new and just enter in the information for the episode right here. This is very similar to what we saw in Seriously Simple Podcasting in the Tucson theme. So you'll add your title, your show notes right here. If you have a different background, you can add that. Choose the parent show, add your media URL. If you use Blueberry for hosting, they do make it really easy to link up. And then just go ahead and publish, you'll be good to go. One thing I haven't shown you yet on either theme is how to add a new show. So what you're gonna do to add a new show from scratch is just go under shows and then hit add new. You'll enter in your show title right up here and then there's some fields to fill out. If you want to have a different background image, you can have that entered in right here. You can add in the show description. This is a short description uh, that's going to show up right underneath your show title. If you want to have a post category that is linked up, you can set that up ahead of time and you'll have to check it over here. That's what's going to help keep you segmented from the rest of your blog posts is keeping everything categorized. You'll enter in the name of your show host. If you want to add an avatar, like a, an image to represent your host, you can do that right here. If the show has its own website, remember this is for a podcast network, you would enter in that in right there and then enter in your show's RSS feed link. So if you're hosting with something like Blueberry or Libsyn, they're gonna give you that RSS feed, you'll just end up entering it in right there. It's as easy as that. Just go ahead and hit publish and you've got your brand new show added to your podcast network website. All right, so color me impressed. This is actually a fairly useful WordPress theme. I don't typically like WordPress themes. As I mentioned at the beginning, I don't like WordPress themes that have a bunch of extra functionality built in, but I like their approach here, how they're using Elementor for most of the work and then only adding in the necessary features through the theme. So this is actually gonna save a lot of people a lot of time, especially if you're building out podcast websites regularly or if you have your own podcast network. So I'll add in that if you're already using podcast.co, the other AppSumo deal related to podcasts, this will actually work together really well. You could build out a website for your podcast using second line themes and then host your podcast on podcast.co. Just grab your RSS feed and the two will automatically stay in sync. So I like second line themes quite a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.6 out of 10. If this review has been helpful to you and you want to go on to make a purchase, the link will, of course, be down below. That is our referral link, so we get a little bit of a kickback when you purchase through clicking on our link, although it doesn't cost you anything extra. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, make sure you head over to our Facebook group so you can join in the LTD chat. And I'll see you in the next review.